All right, I just feel like I am so awkward like on camera, <laughs> but see, oh my God. I am so, 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 so freaking awkward on camera. Oh my gosh. So I can't believe I am doing this, guys. So, okay, I usually don't do videos like these, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So I wanted to bring you on my fitness story. I am super excited to share this with you guys. So many people have asked me like, in the past, how did I lose the weight? How do I keep it off? And um, I'm just excited to share with you guys um, what I did in my journey. Um, today, I am doing something a little bit different from what I would usually do, which is just, you know, sitting in front of the camera, having everything ready, doing like a tutorial or a makeup review or something like that on my Instagram you'll see that like fitness is very very important to me like I post everything from like what I eat when I eat um, and just different meals and a lot of people DM me and they ask me like oh is this healthy or can I eat this so um, I just wanted to kind of bring this to YouTube instead of just having it all on my Instagram um, that way I can just Feel like i can get the word out to a few more people or whatnot so yeah and plus i feel like beauty and fitness and health and all that stuff is like somewhat related so i hope you guys don't mind my hair tutorials and stuff they are not going anywhere i feel like a lot of youtube tutorials and all of those kind of things are just like picture perfect and everything like that but for now I just feel like I want to do this down to earth like real you know me and I know you and um, we can just use this space to kind of get to know each other so um, yeah so there are like several things that stop me from working out the way that I'm supposed to and those things are lacking motivation Food, temptation, uh, let me show you guys this. What's going on in this kitchen right now? Bruh bruh is whipping up. <laughs> that is so not even right, man. Stop. <laughs> like no, for real though, what am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to just not partake in these brownies? The food thing is a bit ridiculous. I think we all can like relate to that, like even just a little bit. Going out with my friends, I may have like a workout planned and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this workout when I get home. And then homegirl calls, hey girl, what you doing tonight? I'm like, girl, nothing, you know, I don't have nothing to do, what's up? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that's happened. And I know it sounds crazy, but my hair. <laughs> And I know it sounds like super, super, super petty, but like when you first get your hair done, you do not want to sweat it out. Like that is so real. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm the only one, but sometimes, yeah, that does happen. Like my hair stops me from working out. But yeah, on another note, so I was maybe, I want to say I was about 45 pounds heavier. And I went to a basketball game and I was like, oh my gosh, the cheerleaders are out there. So how do I become a cheerleader? And so when I went on the website, of course, all the girls were like super, super skinny and they were like really, really thin and in shape. I'm not going to say super skinny. They were thin and they were in shape and they had these girl muscles and they had like abs and everything was just, just bomb. Like when I tell you these girls are like it. So I was like, hmm, thinking emoji. So I was like, 
yeah like i really 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 want to join this team so i found out when trials were and i was like boom that is my date i have to look like these girls by this date so i started to lose all of that weight so i lost all of the weight um i tried out for the teams but um, I made it to the final rounds, but I eventually did not make the team. But I was so happy that I walked away with something. And that was um, that I learned that I can pretty much do anything. Even though I didn't make the team, I was still happy that I lost the weight. And overall, I feel like that was a win lose, but still win situation. <laughs> I cried my little heart out, but. Um, in the end um, I felt like that I learned a bigger lesson and what was more important was my health and that um, you know I could use this to my advantage for my future and those type of things so it worked out anyway I was so happy to lose weight but this is how I did it was it hard for me to get started uh no as soon as I saw that I wanted to do that the next day I started going to the gym and what I did in the gym was I only ran one mile a day per gym session I want to say I probably went to school maybe four days a week so I ran one mile in my school gym for four days a week so after I would run my mile what I did was I would go home and do like body weight uh, workouts I didn't really feel super super comfortable like in my gym doing squats and stuff like I really didn't want like people looking at me and stuff like that so I would go home to do my squats sit-ups and those kind of things like that <laughs> I would uh, spend probably about 20 to 30 minutes in the gym total and that would be it of course I also changed my like eating habits so um, what I would do is I would before I would go to school I would eat uh, cereal so I ate one bowl of cereal in the morning it was a really really small bowl not a big bowl of cereal to be honest it was really any type of cereal but I tried to stick with the more healthier cereals look for the cereals that are low in sugar and um, so I did a bowl of cereal in the morning and then after that I would do like a snack and then after the snack I would have another bowl of cereal when I came home and then after that I would have another snack and then after that I would eat dinner um, and for dinner I would pretty much eat like whatever I wanted as long as it was still in portion size so you're eating five times a day well that's what I was doing anyway I was eating five times a day so cereal snack cereal snack dinner and that's how um, I ultimately lost all the weight as far as the snacks go you want to keep the snacks to under like 200 calories so anywhere between like 100 and 200 calories that's what I did so when I say like I had um, dinner and what whatever I wanted for dinner as long as it was in portion size it would be whatever I wanted for dinner as long as it wasn't bigger than the size of my fist so I would take my fist literally measure it up to my plate <laughs> no, I would measure it up to my plate like say my plates right here right <laughs> and then like I take my fist and I would like measure okay this is the amount of this that I can have this is the amount of this and this is the amount of that that I can have I feel like it's time for him <sighs> guys y'all work with me in this vlog this is the first time I'm doing this so uh, hopefully I can get it together but we'll see so yeah those could be instead of having like cheat days you can just do like somewhat cheat dinners it's not necessarily cheating because you're still eating in portion size and plus it's better to do like whatever you want for dinner that way you won't like go a whole day like a whole cheat day and just eat bad all day like that is just terrible just don't do that or at least that's not what I did y'all I'm not an expert at any of this stuff this is just I'm just telling you guys how I lost the 
45 to 50 pounds and um, manage to kind of keep it off. So this is just what I did from experience, guys. Do not quote me on any of this. Yeah. So a little bit more about me and my living situation. Um, I stay with my dad and my brother. So my dad cooks a lot. So um, I live with two men and it's really hard as a female to just eat right in the house. And you guys will see um, the more and more and more I post these vlogs, like all of the food that comes in this house and it's so hard to try to stay in shape. But anyways, I am going on another fitness journey and I want to bring you guys with me. And my goal is to, I don't want to get as small as I was before. When I tried out for the uh, cheerleading teams, I was like super, super small. And I would, I guess I would classify myself now as like what they call thick fit. So, <laughs> um, we'll see. Uh, I know just for a fact that I want to lose like maybe... I just want to lose at least between 10 and 15 pounds. So we will see how that goes. Guys, definitely comment below if you guys are on a fitness journey. I hope some of this helped. Um, I just really wanted to share with you guys how I um, lost the weight initially and um, kind of where I want to go from here. And um, also, if you follow me on Instagram, like I said, I post everything just about um as far as food goes so um yeah if you guys have any questions definitely let me know or um just leave a comment or email me whatever it doesn't matter let me know if you guys are on your own fitness journeys um tell me about some of your temptations and um what makes it hard for you to work out but also how we are going to change that we are going to overcome all of these things and we are going to be motivated and yeah we're going to do this guys oh yeah don't forget to like comment tell a friend and also subscribe woo, woo. we gonna do this thing we gonna do this thing we gonna do this thing we gonna do this thing